Hello everyone, welcome to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about how you can remove tickets from the Apple Wallet. Well, as you know, you can utilize the Apple Wallet to put there some boarding passes, your uh, payment methods, but also some tickets to events or concerts, whatever that is, but you can easily just put it there. However, once you actually get outside of that, if you mm, already been to that concert or you don't need the ticket anymore, in case you want to delete it, all you have to do is just to open up the wallet and you can see some things are here. So I'm, not, I'm just going to get through. So for example, I have one here, some like a demo a card or like a concert to whatever it is like it's it's a ticket it's just a demo one it doesn't mean anything however if i actually want to delete it or remove it all i have to do is just to click on the three dots or the more option at the top and i have the option to remove pass when i remove pass it, it doesn't actually like make anything to the ticket it doesn't contact the website where i purchased it it literally just removes it from the wallet app so once i remove it you can see the nice animation right there and i don't have anything here anymore besides my other passes by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a 100 percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now of course, there may be a case where you, for example, have some things going on on your uh, iPad in terms of the Apple Wallet, but the date is simply past that. So, for example, if I bring out my other iPhone and open up the wallet like this, you can see that if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can see that I have a section here, expired passes. So in this section, I can actually browse through some things which are uh, on my uh, wallet but you can see that they don't show up in here anymore so that is very useful because i can see that it expired passes and i can see some boarding pass some other things which are simply expired and i can easily just edit them like this select all of them or just select one here and delete it so i'm gonna wrap up this video right now i hope you enjoyed it hope you found it useful in case you did make sure to leave a thumbs up under it but definitely subscribe so you never miss future fox tech videos and fox tech updates so go ahead and do that right now and i will see you in the next video peace out until then